Welcome guys to another Profile Treat Wix tutorial. So today we're going to be going through Fluid Hero Section Designs. So here I have in front of me an example of one of those. So we'll go ahead and preview it first, just to give you an insight on what sort of hero sections we can create. So as you can see, it's a nice fluid design. Uh, it's modern as well, and it ties well with the e-commerce website that we've built here. Now, of course, there are similar uh, sort of styling that we can do. So I'll list out a couple of different versions and it's up to yourselves to then go ahead and create your own one or even follow some of the designs that I've created. Uh, hopefully it gives you a foundation or base to start off with, especially with creating a hero section for your Wix site, since this is going to be uh, the most attractive towards a visitor. Anyway, enough talk, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we've got our blank template. Uh, what I want to do, uh, what I always do actually, is name the section a hero section. And this is handy, uh, of course, if you are wanting to anchor your sections or if you will want to link the section then of, of course you would have that section there um, more recognizable than having it called untitled section so uh, what I also like to do as well is I would add a strip onto the section itself it's more so that I could add some columns and I could also make the site a little bit more responsive so I'll click onto strip uh, select the classic one there and I'll just adjust it to size and thankfully we've got a handy tool uh, which is called the toolbar and then this allows me to size up my area so I could have this setting at around 600 and that means that my actual section here is now at height within 600 and all I would need to do is push the strip to become 600 instead of 400 as well. So just by clicking that, I'm able to change it. And this completely eliminates the uh, click and drag method. Uh, it sort of just saves you some time as well instead of trying to find that perfect number, which you could actually enter into the toolbar. So now that we've got that section completed, uh, what I would like to do, so I'm going to try to create a something a little bit more different. Uh, it's up to yourselves if you want to try it out. So there are a couple of different ways to create your uh, perfect fluid hero section. Now you could change the background strip and for this uh, you would have um, an image or a video and I'll go ahead and demonstrate that first. So we'll do a video and uh, let's just say we're going to theme the website based off a fashion business so we'll, or a clothing business. So we'll do something to do with clothing and let's see if we could try to find some videos that matches that. So here's one here, um, a little bit unique. We'll try to see if we can, okay. So we'll try to theme it. Uh, more of a modern sort of website. So here we are, we've got now our background video. And we'll go ahead and preview this and we'll see how it looks. So this is how us now testing the the waters pretty much on how the website's gonna look. So I'm happy enough with how the actual hero section looks now. Uh, so I'll go ahead and stick with the video now. It's up to yourselves whether you want to use a background, uh, um, a background image or a solid background. Completely up to yourselves, and I'll leave that with you. But for our website, we're going to create the and stick with the uh, background video. And I want to give a little bit more depth to this section. Now I can't just leave it with a video and just call it uh, the end of the day. What I would want to do is within the hero section, I would want to link the visitor straight away to a shop. So 
I'm going to go ahead and create some or add some parts to the hero section. And I'm going to go and select maybe an image. And I'm just going to go and add a, an illustration for the meantime. And I'll drag that into our hero section here. I'll just uh, double click the header just so it's not in a way. And what I'm going to do in order to get the circle, uh, so there's this design. And there is this frame design, which is a circle. But unfortunately, since we have a rectang rectangle, it's going to go ahead and convert it to a oval. So I'm going to just crop that out so it's more of a square. And that gives me more of an option to create a circle. So somewhere around there, that looks okay. And I'm going to go and apply that. And now what I'll do is I'll change the image. So I'll select this here. I'll scroll down and I'm going to click on the circle there and exit off. And what I would want to do is just expand that out a little bit. So this could be like one of my areas for the images. Now, of course, there are other ways to doing this. I'm going to go ahead and show a couple of different methods. It's a little bit glitchy for me here, but uh, I can go ahead and change that image if I wanted to uh, by using Unsplash or Media from Wix. I wouldn't recommend Shutterstock since it is a paid for one. So if I search up fashion within the Unsplash, I should get a couple of images from uh, Unsplash here. I more prefer uh, the using Unsplash. More the fact that they have um, better images than what Wix provides. Uh, so I I'm going to go ahead and select the Converse shoes here, and we'll go ahead and choose th that image, and we'll wait for it to load up, and we'll see what pops up next. Now, of course, now I, I would like to contrast both of these images together. So I'm going to add a little bit more depth to it and add a few of these. But this time I'm going to select one here and add it as a smaller image. So we'll just load this up. And it's great the fact that it actually reduces down to the proper size of the image itself. So I'll just do something like that. And what I'll do is for the bigger circle, I'm actually going to uh, push that up a little bit just so there's room within the hero section. Okay, and you can see already how much of a good website builder Wix is due to the fact that this is a drag and drop builder. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to go and change the image for this one and again, go for something to do with fashion. Um, let's see. We could select the this image here and we'll wait for that to load. Depending how slow this is, I might have to reset it. But anyway, we'll move on. And then I'm going to add another image in. And what I'm te technically trying to do is more of um, blending it in within the hero section towards the bottom. And we'll decrease the sizing of this one. Okay, so I've gone ahead and darkened up the background a little bit there. And what I'll do is change these, the image for this one. Um, let's see, we'll go ahead and choose this one and we'll select that and choose image. Now again, there are different uh, design methods that you can use to creating this website. 
So we'll go ahead and just preview and see what it looks like first of all. So that's how we've got it looking. Okay. And what I might do is I'll actually just move this more here. And then I can have some elements pretty much where I've got some a title. And I can have that saying one, two plugs. So I'll just uh write a random website business there. And we'll change the color theme to white. Okay. And I'm gonna increase that font size so that it is a little bit bigger. And I, I do want to increase that so that it is just a whole one. And of course, there are other ways to create this. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and mock it up and then I'll present uh, an example and we'll do something else after that. Okay, so just depending on how you create the website, of course, there are other ways to design it. So this is how I have came up with it. Uh, now, of course, it can, uh, I can't improve it and give it a little bit of work. But of course, uh, with the help of animation as well, I'm able to pretty much just add more depth to it. So let's just say that I'll increase that a little bit higher. And then with the section here, I'm going to pull that up a little bit more. So something like that. And then I'll apply some animation towards this. Like so. And then we'll do it for this as well. Just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and preview it. So pretty much just like that, there's other ways, of course, to create a hero section. So that's all dependent on you. Uh, now we'll pretty much just take a look at some other hero sections that are available and some of the ones that I've previously made. So we'll go ahead and hop onto that one. Okay, so as you can see for this one, where we originally started, I'm going to go ahead and just give you a showcase on how I actually created this one. So starting off with this, this is actually a Wix gallery. So if I could just pull it up here, uh, as you can see that this is a slide and that pretty much just goes from the next slide on. And this is also a slideshow. So what's great is the fact that these two uh, go and merge at the same time, purely because they both start off at uh, slide one, then it'll be slide two, slide three. So it'll show the men's, women's. And then all I had done for this area is that I had sectioned them out. So I added a strip and put in three columns. And then if I go ahead and show you, I'll go ahead and manage the columns and then layout. You can see with the proportions, I had done 60%, 30%, and 10%. And what is great as well, is that previously what you had to do was uh, adjust it yourself, just like with the uh, the section I was on about there, but with the help of the toolbar, you can just add numbers. What's great is with a recent update, it looks like they have added percentages uh, for you to basically type in what you want, and then you're also all, you're able to change it. So that's an easy way to proportion a section. Uh, now the same applies to this top area, uh, it's the same thing, has the same section name as this, 
And then with the rest of these, these uh, this layout here, it's all pretty much just text and it has uh, different links towards them. So you could just link that to a social media like so, and then you would add a web address, of course, and then you would paste in your URL. Uh, menu item is easy enough. That was just easy to modify. Just uh, add your menu item in there and just design it. And of course, we have your logo. So that pretty much sums up the, this tutorial and uh, sums up this hero section. Hero sections, there, it varies with design, uh, purely up to yourselves how you want to create your website. And I'm just hoping that this video pretty much helps you with a, a couple of stepping stones, of course, into starting off and building your hero section. Uh, of course, get creative with it. This is what the visitors or customers will be seeing straight, out, uh, straight away for your website, especially if it's at your homepage. Uh, anyway, guys, if I've missed anything, let me know in the comment section below. And of course, if you want to see more, uh, more content, uh, I do appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up. Anyway, I'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you very much.